Hi there and welcome. This is Nelly Deutsch and today I'm going to show you how to work with Knowledge Library. Now let me show you where it is. I don't have to turn anything on. I'm in a Moodle course on a platform called Online Courses for free.com where you can create Moodle courses. If you're not experienced in Moodle, you can take courses on how to work with Moodle. But if you are, you're welcome to use the site and create your courses. Just contact me in the comment box below and I'll be happy to help you out. So let's take a look at the library. Notice Knowledge Library is right here. If I go into it, I've already created, well, actually, I didn't create it. It was generated by Knowledge. So these are, notice, three. I've got three in my library and if I go into actions I can edit which I'm not going to do or I can click on it notice and preview it in most cases right preview uh, for some reason I can't preview that one maybe that's because I haven't finished it if that happens click on the action go into edit and see what's going on notice analysis ended but I didn't go through the process so in order to use this, I need to go through the question summary and generate. And then I can remove what I don't want, make the changes that I want, and so on. Let's uh, go on to the next one. Now, this may take a bit of time, but I think it's worth it. Um, you don't have to stay. <laughs> you can go and come back. You get notified by knowledge so you know exactly where you are. And that's for your convenience. All right, so now I'm going to hit generate. And this is the part that takes, uh, could take a bit of time. So notice you'll get the tick when it's done, but until that's done, uh, and you'll get notified, as I said, by email, activities generation is in progress. So we're not going to use that one for now, but we'll go into this one where it says preview the joy of traveling. And then here we are. These are, okay, the ones that I have. Now I can tick on each one and then separately I book and click on it. Notice my options. I can download it. Okay, there it is there. This is what it looks like. And there you can see it here. Next, I'm going to go into the course. Now for this, I need to turn editing on. So let me do that, turn editing on. And then I have to decide where I wanna be, introduction, vocabulary, and so on. In this case, I'm going to go into vocabulary, click on that, scroll all the way down, as much as I need to. Notice I've got a few activities here. In fact, I have one on the joy of traveling, but let's do another one. Add a resource or an activity. This time I am going to blue. Give it a breakfast. Okay, title. Not going to go through this um, too much here, but please remember to add all the information that you want your students to have. Next, I'm going to go into the download, breakfast, drag and drop and uh, add the grades, grade out of 160 for the passing grade, and then conditions always have requirements. It's greatly appreciated by students. And then I should have that ready, okay? It's in review mode, there it is. Now I'm in as a student, let's uh, go through it again, okay? And um, I'll do that. And I think um, now you can see the check. For the teacher, you won't be able to. So check the answers will be marked as correct and correct. Okay, so you can see that I didn't get anything correct. Now notice this is what I will see failed. Now this time I've gone in as a teacher, going to add an activity or resource. So I'm going to go into the interactive content, H5P, the black one. Going to add uh, breakfast. Okay, notice uh, what I have now. Now I have this. Okay, so I can create. Or if I go into upload, okay, I can do the same. Only this time, upload file, the H5P file. And then again, I'll be doing the same things. Um, notice it's out of 10 right now. Grade to pass is um, six. Okay, it's a bit different. Add requirements, receive a grade, a passing grade, and then I can save and display. And here it is. Okay, so you can use the black one as well, but the upload is slightly different. You can also share it on the H5P hub, which is kind of nice, right? 
Uh, lots of wonderful activities available on H5P and you can generate them using knowledge. Thank you for watching. Use the comment box for questions or come into the site and you'll get feedback so you can ask there as well.